Hello everybody, my name is Celine. Welcome to the Woodland Park Zoo Humboldt Penguin Exhibit. Today, you're about to meet some of my friends and learn a little bit about uh, why it's so important to conserve the Humboldt Penguin. Okay, so here we have Diamante, we have Solomon, we have Cruz, we have Gordito. All my little friends are around me here. Um, a lot of these guys are about two and three years of age. And as you can see, they are quite active and quite rambunctious. All right, one of the things I want to show you today, one of the uh, amazing adaptations of penguins, is uh, that they're predators, right? Most people think of them as cute and funny, but they're actually stealth predators of the deep. And they love to eat fish, and everything about them is designed for being excellent predators and for eating those fast fish. Now, out in, an in the wild, they live on anchovies and sardines. Here in the zoo, we feed them fish that are more readily available and sustainably caught. So uh, that means capelin, that means silver sides. So I'm gonna give them some fish and I want you to notice a few things about the penguins. First off, they have excellent eyesight, both on land and underwater. And they're able to spot even the smallest of fish. Another thing I want you to notice is how they eat it. Do they eat tail first? What do you think, Saul? Oh, he ate that one tail first. Head first. That's typically how they eat their fish. So, that's very streamlined design. Goes down quicker. Less drag, right? One of the other adaptations of penguins, as you see them climbing up and down the stairs, is they have to be excellent jumpers and climbers, right? Now, out in the wild, they're living atop cliffs that are 80 to 100 feet high, and they have to be able to scale and jump those cliffs so that they can make it on down to the ocean get their food, hike on back up, take care of their chicks. So as you see, penguins have webbed feet that help them with climbing and jumping. Same with those nice sharp claws that they have. They have sharp beaks with big hooks on the end so they can grab on to those fast fish and not let them go. We always want to take care of our environment, right? The natural world around us is a wonderful thing. We want to make sure that we keep it clean, keep our oceans clean, um, keep them free of things like plastic and oil, pollution, things like that, right? Another thing we want to do is make sure there's enough fish for everybody, right? Humans and other animals eat sardines and anchovies too. So we want to make sure and um, live sustainably, right? Make sure that everybody has enough of what they need and make sure we as humans don't take too much from them. Thank you very much you guys. Good to see ya.